السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Welcome to the Masjid Car Park Podcast, episode 48. Welcome back, Mr. Lata. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. I'm happy to be back. I'm going to say it's been a minute. It, yeah. <laughs> hey, look at you with the uh, shirt slang. I'm waiting. It's been a minute. That's better. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum, Sheikh. How come you didn't give salam to him? I did. No, you didn't. You said welcome. Anyway. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Because he's not wearing a cap, maybe. Mm. Ooh, just kidding. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh Khalid Mufti Maulana, Sheikh Al Ummat, Doctor, <laughs> Professor. Doctor. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Completely Jesus to ignore that awesome introduction I just gave you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Jazakum la khaira. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Welcome to Masjid Kapak. How has your. Lara, where have you been, bud? I've been busy, man. I know you, um, like, talk to us. To be honest, it's just work. Work has preoccupied a lot of my time. Yep. And also just some personal stuff as well, you know, yep. that, that I don't really want to discuss on the podcast, but just juggling life. Do you need a hug? Yes, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you can give me one after the, uh, yeah, the right. podcast, off the camera. But, I, but I do need one. Okay. Yeah, not in Molana, do you need a hug? No, I'm all right. I'm no, alhamdulillah. 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 Are you sure? I, I, we, me and Lara hugged each other before the podcast. Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> when you went out, we hugged each other. <laughs> no, alhamdulillah. Oh, when you bro. came in, you came in. We I, came have, in. I must behave. <laughs> I must, alhamdulillah. I must behave. Um, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Lots been going on in no, the world. Really. No, not really. Oh, been oh in the world. Oh, maybe. wait. How's skateboarding? Um, we got a long border here, brother. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah, there'll be a. Inshallah, give me a few more months. Can I'll you record some of your stacking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a. Don't few you think he yeah. should have a camera set up Definitely. for when he just face plants it? When when yeah. did this when did this begin? Uh, about two months ago. Uh, actually, I'm exercising to lose weight. Yeah. Um, we discussed it last week. Thanks for this. Yeah, yeah. So we <laughs> we discussed. Uh, no, so, 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 you know so I was doing like, like I'm d- thank you for the cardio. The cardio got I am in, in one of those moods right now. Just cardio you know. got boring, and then I said, oh, I don't know. I'll just do something fun, and somehow I got videos of like longboarding, skateboarding. I said, oh, I like did it as a kid or whatever, and then I said, I'll get you know. Yeah, you know, do roller skating. Roller I'll get. He was about that. to say, I'll get back into it, but then he realized he was no good in the. the yeah, yeah. When he was so a kid it, was, it wasn't really it. like a thing, but you know, it's there. Yeah. I said, oh, this this sound, this looks like a better exercise. You, you're lo- and it is actually you're learning a skill. Um, you're learning a skill. Tell, tell him after the podcast because I heard all. There's that a mental stuff. aspect of it. Yeah. And then there's like the physical like exertion, uh, cardio, and then. Um, it's just more enjoyable. Like it's just fun. Yeah. Right. If, yeah. Should we start longboarding? <laughs> I've I've watched I'll a lot of it, videos and, 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 uh, then, and then we can do a podcast longboarding. I don't well, I don't, I don't think I'll be any good yeah. at longboarding to be honest. No no you, you you'll be amazed at how quickly your body figures that. Why out. do you say that? I don't know. Just because uh, I've I've tried to skateboard and I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like so yeah, skateboarding yeah. might be a little bit harder because the the boards are like Smaller, longer yeah. and easy to balance and but the same skill sets required. Yeah right. Okay. But um yeah. What else has been going on apart from uh, the same school? Nothing segment, much, right? just pretty relaxed actually this Ooh, week. Wait, wait, loss. What are we at? Wait, should we um, we don't ask today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did you have today? No, no. Oh, I've got um, Whitaker's yes, chocolate in the car. I forgot to bring yesterday it up. Yesterday was um, yesterday was a. Uh, I don't know what happened. You know what it is? I finish, I finish all my assignments. I'm now in like I got like a month or something holiday, something like Mashallah. that. Mashallah. So that month holiday is now like it's all assignments finish, essays yeah. finish. Exams. Finished. Did you have two liters of ice cream while you were sitting? No, not exactly. <laughs> on your but um, yeah, I let the guard down a little bit, and yesterday, and then now I'm, I'm today. Well, I what does that mean? A little today bit? I haven't I eaten like, anything I'll, the whole day. So I would like to know what what does that mean? A little bit. Nothing like over the top, like a bit of biryani and uh, yeah, biryani. Yeah, that's all right. So yeah, like normal desi food. Yeah. yeah, like I ate like a normal human being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't eaten anything today. No. Nah, so yeah, literally nothing. No, nah, oh, I had a like. Um, at one scoop of protein shake this morning, so what, wow. what have you and drank? Then afternoon, I had some the Conjac whatever tablet. You know the Conjac. It's like no, a no it's like a fiber thing that expands with water's added to it. So it oh. basically makes you fills you up. So oh. yeah, it's just two capsules of that, 
and um, yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. I'm fine. How are the energy levels? Um, they're fine. Yeah, like, yeah. It's because you get you're drinking water and um, you're drinking water. Yeah, so it's fine. Yeah, bro. I went to speaking of food. I went to. I just had a curry at my mum's though, <laughs> <laughs> just before I came. So you oh, have eaten something today. <laughs> so I have eaten something. Yeah. <laughs> I no, I had Here something. I'm going off. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I didn't eat the like, whole day to just before yeah. the podcast. Uh, Literally. Yeah, but you've eaten. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I just ate now. Yeah. So I'm like, I wasn't going to eat, like, I was going to eat after the podcast, which mm. is very late at night. So it's like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night now. But um, yeah, so I did eat just now, just before I came. <laughs> so it's not too bad. Right, <laughs> I forgot we, that I just, we ate, went to an just had a few, like, bits of meat. We went to an all you can eat Japanese restaurant, basically sushi. Yeah. Right, I've. There's something I realized about these all-you-can-eat places. It's so gluttonous. Yeah. Mm. It's it's exciting at the start. How much, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I can't look at um, raw salmon for a long time. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Let's put it that way. I'm right. Sure. It's exciting at the start because sushi. I love sushi. Everyone, yeah, like, yeah. you know, everyone loves sushi. And all-you-can-eat sushi, like that's crazy. Yeah. But then you realize, like, the amount of food that was left over, it was just ugly. Yeah. yeah. Right. And um, I don't think I can do it again. It was a weird, weird feeling. Like the excitement changed to, I don't know if you can call it disgust. It was definitely satisfaction. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think I need a bit of time. Went to Umatai tonight. Oh, yeah. Again, they, they, they went they twice this week, mashallah. No, last Living week. It up, like, man. No, we got family. India Ice must be treating you well. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we got family down from New Zealand. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So, um, so last week went to. Yeah, there. And then this week went to Umatai, but with brother and his kids and everything like that. Okay. Yeah. So, what yeah, did it was you have? Right. Uh, Thai fried green, fish. Green curry. Like, yeah, Thai green curry. I love Thai green curry. Their fried yeah. fish is pretty good. Their fried fish is amazing. Yeah. And highly, but, highly but, recommend. No, but nothing beats blue. This is the one in um, yeah. um, uh, Campbellfield, isn't it? Campbellfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nothing beats blue. Have you been fried, to blue? The fried snapper? Yeah. What's blue? Blue. The well, uh, seafood restaurant. No, oh, yeah. the one that uh, Put us on took to us there. Yeah. No, he didn't. I wasn't there. No, he took he took me there oh, okay. initially. Yeah, 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 that's right. No, no, we went together. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I said you took me there because I, I didn't I didn't know what it was. Right, where I was I? I where was I? In we this? went together. He went as well. No, he wasn't there. I wasn't it was, there. It was me, you, and uh, Ifran. Yeah, oh, I've okay. never been to Blue with you. Oh, did I? Yeah, I took you there. Yeah, did I? It was it was your idea. You're like, oh yeah, the seafood restaurant, blah, 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 and you set okay. it up, Bizarre. made the date, and you took us there. <laughs> Well, okay. you, didn't, you didn't pick mm-hmm. me up and take yeah. me there. Like, yeah, yeah, you we met know, up yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, we met oh, up I've there. got so much FOMO right now. What's going on, mate? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That First, was a long time ago. First, yeah. we're waiting yeah. for brisket, and that was um, that. Uh, but you were you were invited though, so yeah. I was probably busy. <laughs> yeah. All right, and um, what else? The hood's not as important as the you know <laughs> <laughs> the dunya. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> may Allah make your words come true. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> show me the money. <laughs> Stuck for Allah. Yeah. But Inshallah. Been, look. Hey, speaking of which, mm. which is someone asked me today, young chap asked me today, um, in Islam, what's a high value man? You know this terminology. Oh, yeah. no, we're going to get into <laughs> Andrew this. Tate, Andrew Tate. <laughs> Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. That guy's, been, hasn't that, that guy's <laughs> been banned from everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's, back, he's back on now, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah, they're they they back. <laughs> yeah, they took it back and all like, really? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> they're making too much money off him. That's why. I don't know. But, Advertising but, revenue. But his, his YouTube channel is back. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's like, it's good to have a voice, you know, yeah. like to hear different perspectives. Facebook, all of that. They, they all <laughs> turned it back on. Just like that, huh? Yeah. He made his toba. He probably like, like, self flex. I, I don't. I don't know. It's a bit suspicious, <laughs> huh? It's a bit suspicious. You know, all of a sudden they all turned it on all at once. Yeah, but the the thing, the point is, it in must that be something that was. I'm sure they colluded. Let's yeah. switch this guy off because we don't like what he's saying. But then you switch it off for a week and realize you've just lost millions of dollars in revenue. Yeah, yeah, because like, he was the most searched. On. He was the most searched. It was person. global. Yeah. Uh, he was the most watched and searched person last month. Yeah. All the Kardashians put together, like he beat everybody. <laughs> like he beat everybody. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Someone. <laughs> Kardashians. I don't know. I don't know. Like whatever, whoever's popular at the moment. I know this, but he probably sits at home going, I wonder what Kim's up to tonight. <laughs> Stop for a lot. No, I would never waste my time. <laughs> Doing your assignments. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were. Never, never, Mufti never. course. Yes, gets I'm a, sure. He gets his tea. Yeah. Yeah. That's, his, that's his He, he follows. I don't what, even know what what's that? What's that? Um, what was it? Kylie Jenner? 
Kyle Jenner? Is that the no, no, the, the dad, the dad Caitlin. that became oh, Caitlyn. Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Oh, see, see, <laughs> you got, that's a cultural phenomenon. <laughs> that, that, that's that's his like top feed. Yeah. <laughs> he switches on YouTube. Bruce Jenner, whatever. I'm sorry, I did name him, but um, <laughs> that's what they call it, dead naming. If you name the old name. Nah. <laughs> yeah, dead name. Bro, how do you know all this? Is it You're full on. His old name. Wasn't it just Bruce? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you say, mention their old name, it's called dead naming or something like that. Dead naming, really? Yeah, there's actually a term for I, it. I didn't know that. <laughs> the world's gone to the... I, so I, anyway, I, I identify as an anyway, alim. I don't know how we ended up talking about the <laughs> I've decided thing. to identify as an alim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to use that one. I identify as a yeah. mufti. <laughs> what would you like? So, <laughs> so someone asked me, young person, in Islam, what's a high value man? And you sort of have to stop for a sec. <laughs> and it's like, because there's a whole oh, mindset okay. that comes along yeah. with, that, with yeah. that terminology. It's not just, um, yeah, like basically in a sense, someone who's wealthy, powerful, successful, mover, shaker sort of thing. But then like, you have to stop. And like, there's a whole like aqidah belief yeah. system around that term. Yeah. And and usually in the context they're talking about, it is women. Like in, in mm. not, it's generally- Picking up women. Yeah, exactly. So- yeah. So it's like I said. I don't think. I don't think like like you could have called me. <laughs> Where'd you go with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I said. Firstly, like in terms of, uh, I mean, in Islam, we're told to do work with perfection. Mm. Number one. So accomplishment to be accomplished, not to accomplishment, to be responsible and accomplish is something is a desirable trait. Yep. yep. In anybody, but that doesn't mean that because success, like in yourself, you're responsible for your. What you do, so taking responsibility and um, doing your job well, yep. that's on you. But as for the outcomes, um, firstly, your lot in life is qadr. Mm. Mm. And this is I'm discussing with a lot of people this week. I was talking to one of my teachers overseas, and the new, like, you know, people in Aqidah, they go on about don't go worship graves. I don't know anybody in Australia who worships graves, right? Yeah. Like, uh, I've never met anybody that worships graves or whatever. But like you mentioned some guy in Faulkner <laughs> just doing the whole Faulkner cemetery <laughs> and, the, and the guys that work for the Memorial Park go past. It's a bloke eating flowers off the grave. <laughs> yeah, we don't even know what that means. Like, But I don't know what that means. But the thing is, the Qadr, when it comes to Qadr, destiny, and the thing, everything's written and all good bad is from Allah, mm. which is like a fundamental core, one of the pillars and fundamentals of Islam. Mm. Part of that is to accept that all good and bad in your life is from Allah. Mm. Okay. So when you talk about a higher value, man, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? So are you saying that, look, because in social media, the narrative that is being pushed, like, into young people's brains, like, is like Goggins and The Rock and yeah. Yeah. Uh, all these people, even Andrew Tate, like, either implicitly or explicitly, you are the creators of your own destiny. Mm. Or if you don't do it, that's not going to happen. That's not true. Yeah. There's plenty of people that are very wealthy, quote-unquote successful, yeah, and but, uh, yeah. they haven't done anything for it, <laughs> yeah. and then so it's really is from Allah. It doesn't mean you don't work and fulfill your responsibility and try, but at the end of the day, like your um, a lot of your what your outcome is not determined by. Uh, I just I just read an article the other day about a woman, like what you're saying, how risk like everything comes from Allah. This woman, uh, I think she 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 lives in uh, I think she's from uh, Craigieburn. Uh, there was uh, 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 a cryptocurrency company called Crypto.com. They transferred ten million, ten million, ten point three, yeah, ten point three into her account instead of one hundred. That's not That's a mistake, Devon. But 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 <laughs> like, what is, did she spend that money? Yeah, she bought a house. She uh, uh, and they, they took it to court. They yeah, took they took it to court, but you know. Like who didn't get any back? Yeah, it's because uh, someone because she's fired. She's <laughs> the the problem isn't her. It's someone made a mistake. You know, no, I get that, but so she's got no. She's not paying them back. They're, they're going to try. They're taking to court. Yeah, they're taking yeah. her to court. But you know, um, the house that she bought, she transferred her over to her sister's name. So you know, <laughs> how are they going to manage that? No, she, they will get. They, they yeah. Should, yeah, yeah. Allah yeah. Allah. But, but these things have happened before. There was there was a there was another yeah. long uh, older story of a I bank mean, transferring uh, yeah. but, but from the company's perspective. They've got to do something because all the other people that have got their money there because it's not really it's other people's money as well. Yeah. So now like they can't just like just get some ten million dollars. If somebody transfers, they, they want the lottery. They, they want, would have insurance and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But know? if like, someone transfers like ten million dollars, say into my account. And I, is that halal for me to go hard because I put it in it's my? It's not account? your no, money. No, it's not. Yeah, I yeah, don't think it's not your money. Because she, she's not Wishful Muslim, thinking. you know. But I'm just, I'm just uh, 
using that as a I mean it's probably Look, a bad example but it can happen like you know you, you, you can, well, you can get money that you didn't, that you didn't do nothing for yeah in, in fiqh this would probably you can say the closest to this is and the rules of that might apply is luqata uh, look, like it's um, lost property mm. so if you find money like let's mm. find a suitcase of you know $100,000 in your ceiling or so for example yeah, then you're you're a, you're figure out who lived there before you yeah. and find him before he comes <laughs> to <laughs> find you. I think that's happened to somebody. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Like, let's Bro, see. There's so many people. There's, there's, there's laws. In their ceilings. There's yeah. laws for that. You have to you have to re- re- think to because you have to check if this is actually criminal, uh, whatever. But Islamically, you're required to announce it for like a year and there's rules for it oh, so that Allah. the real owner can come forward. If they don't come forward, <laughs> then well, but how do you know? That yeah, I know. The real now, owner. nowadays, like, if someone says social media no, 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 has a hundred thousand, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was mine. Course, you know. And if they don't, if they don't, it is yours. So wow. there, is, there is a procedure for that. Probably, it probably fits yeah. in that procedure. And then the, whoever comes for it, and if they're legitimately the owner, then it's theirs. It's not yours. Yeah, you yeah. just happen to find it. Yeah. So mm. I think I think the idea of um, just taking it and you know this is the. I think in Australia there is a bit of this ethos where uh, if if the authorities can't catch you, if you can get away with it, Dude, I think that, this is that, part of our culture. That, yeah. that I think reminds all, me of a time. If Centrelink can't catch you, you're yeah. right. Yeah, that yeah. reminds me that's of a time I was at Coles. Coles. Me, but it's but you're right about it. That's, I gave, that's, that's, that's I gave the guy, yeah, 50. I was in a long line at Coles. I gave the guy $50 and he gave me 50 plus some change. Because yeah. in his mind, I think he thought I had 100. So I actually went back to him and I realized, no, this is not right. And I went back to him and go, hey, listen, you overpaid me $50. Mm. Everyone in line was shocked. This guy was shocked. Mm. Like the fact that yeah, your yeah. people return people money, that, that's yeah. not yours. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, the presentation of Islam in terms of da'wah to others um, is, is what the ulama say. You know, it's, it's not through your prayers because mm. your prayers are... Your, yeah. your, your salat is in the mosque, your uh, fasting is in your stomach, your Hajj is uh, in the Haram; they can't really go there. Your um, yes, um, uh, Shahada is like between you and Allah, I guess. And what's left? And, and zakat, zakat is and Zakat. We only pay to Muslims, mm. so even the pillars they don't get to experience it directly. So the only thing that actually really the presentation of Islam is through your business dealings, mm. through your social dealings, and your character. These are this is where the out of the, all the the presentation of Islam is on display mm. is through these three things: is our social, business, and our character. So it's um, yeah, like uh, so. Back to the high value man. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't so, you wouldn't you say for that? Just talk about the high value man. If, so, if for a Muslim, mm. a high value man is someone that you would say in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa taala is classified as high value. I, I think we're speaking in the material world. Like, I, I get it so you, but, like, but, religion, but isn't that what you would say to the young men though? A high value man was yeah, I mean, Allah, 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 a high value no, no, man but, is Sahaba radiallahu anhu. Yeah, but, and uh, Rijal, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he calls men in the Quran, mm-hmm. men uh, that whose trade does not, if I remember the correct, beguile it from the remembrance of Allah. From okay, Salat. so that's a high value. So, man. so a person who takes his deen seriously is considered a high value, like, like, He's called, he's called a man actually. A man is defined as the one whose trade and merchandise does, does not distract them for the remembrance of Allah, meaning yeah. salat. Okay, so the, the the modern Western or whatever you want to call it, the world. No, 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 no. no. I, I don't think I think we should be careful. Look, that's a spiritual definition of. What no, a man I disagree is. with that because you're saying the the you, we're talking about high value men. So the modern high value man is someone that's successful. Someone that's got a lot of wealth. Success. No, success. Wealth. No, success is not like a thing in itself. No, wealth. What? Wealth, yeah. All right. Power. Power. Status. status. Similar things. Mm, okay. S- no, and, not really. Status. And, and uh, women. For yeah. men. Mm. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that, that's, that's, the, that's what, a, what the West describes yeah. as a high value man. Now, a person in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so you're talking about with material things and non-material, I think they're synonymous at the moment when it comes to Islam. Because a high value man is someone that is in the eyes of Allah who's... Trade doesn't stop. I think we say high value by what people perceive to be high value. We're not talking about a loss. Yeah, but we need to change that concept. We need to change that attitude within our youth. No, no, no. It won't because there's a certain whole ideology around it. I think. No, but then you're pandering to them. It's not about pandering. It's trying to find you're, it. You're condoning I, them. I, I think there's a truth to what they seek in by using that term. There's a truth that they try to. There's a truth to it. Yeah. Which is this is why I try to use the word. He's accomplished. Like for example, the example Leonardo, what's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio. 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 So, 
So he's a uh, he Bruce Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so, high value woman. So, well, he was at one point. He was a high value man at one <laughs> that point. That could so be funny because he was an athlete. He was an athlete. He's an Oli- Olympian, right? No, no, so he's, he's not a high value man. No. He was. He was. He was a high value. No, he was an. No, a- he was an no, athlete. No, uh, no, he, was, he was an Olympian. No, if th- th- <laughs> he must have had some mental like because I think. Is 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 a is a mental right like living with the Kardashians? You know what I mean? Like you know what like yeah. so, do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I think that's uh, and that year one woman of the year. He wasn't uh, uh, the first. That doesn't year. even make sense. I mean, that's how amazing men are. Imagine you know? <laughs> <laughs> he started for one year. He's beat them all. <laughs> beat all the women in the world. We got beat scientists, six, doctors, four billion women. He beat. Yeah, so many in the first year as a woman. <laughs> what did the was it Dave Chappelle said? No, I can't uh, say. We can't say. Okay. <laughs> can't say what he said. <laughs> right. But but my point is no. Wait, let me finish my thought processes because I'm still. Dis- I'm not going to agree with you on this one because uh, you're talking about these accomplishments. But when we talk about in the eyes of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, someone that doesn't stop from trade. Now, somebody might not be wealthy. This guy might be just a. Well, what is the other thing that uh, you look at? Somebody that's disheveled, the hair is thing, their clothes are dusty. But if they were to raise their hands, more or less, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala would answer it straight away. But I think I think right? you got, I think you guys are talking two different things, right? Because yeah. you're, you're no, but there shouldn't be two different things when it comes from an Islamic point of view. I think there's a. Um, mm. This is what I'm trying. To, I was giving the, a very good example, Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, now in their world, is he a Muslim? In their world, <laughs> in their world. Yeah, in in that in that whole Andrew Tate sphere, yeah. manosphere, whatever. Well, I don't know. I don't know. They got different names right now. Keeps on changing. But um, red pill, all these sort of things. Can you imagine in, if this stuff was around when we were young. We're, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. Stuff. But I think I think <laughs> it's it a weird time. No, right no, no. Now. I think when we were young, it did, this is a reaction to what's been happening the last twenty years. Yeah. So, like in the nineties, this wouldn't have been so. It wouldn't have caught on, caught on because there was no, no need. There for was it. no social media. That's why. Yeah, and no, no, no. Nineties, no, 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 it was no, still no, there. The, the roles, new age family guy. roles, are still there to a certain degree, and father's father, mother's mother, and all these sort of things. Generally, it, not. It, it not prob- it, 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 I it, think no, it, started to, it was collapsing. It was collapsing. Yeah, yeah it started yeah, in the eighties and it sped up in the nineties. And yeah, anyway, what I was saying, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. So the, in that sphere, <laughs> 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 but he, but he. Um, um, like they put him as a role model. Yeah, he's in his forties, and he has like he all the women that he, you know, has been in a relationship with. They are all in their like early twenties. All of them, the average <laughs> yeah. age like twenty two, right? Something <laughs> yeah. like that. some ridiculous amount. Yeah, but if you if you want to say he's a high value man, the reason why he can get away with that, mm. well, the guy's like, he's like a he, successful actor. No, no, he's good looking. Number one. Right, number two, he's uh, he's and he's an accomplished actor, right? He's pretty good, right? And then he's extremely wealthy, right? So there's a f- three, four things, factors what we would define as success to make a person high value, whatever. Yeah, according to them. Now, um, if there's a Muslim, like breaking those things down, wealth, right? It's it doesn't mean that you're. Um, if you're wealthy, there's certain things that you can do. Even you Islamic, have access. Even even Islamically, like if you're poor, you can't support a wife. You shouldn't be getting married. I mean, put it that way. Mm-hmm. Or you, you can't give sadaqa or zakat or any of that. Yeah. So you are you are become valuable in the sense of not that okay. you are valued, like because you can be poor and the p- poor people enter jannah before the rich people. Generally. I think it's the it's the uh, what you can achieve with your money that's valuable for others. As, yeah. From an Islamic, for, for if you're looking at yeah. from an Islamic view. Because you can, you can, you can yeah, guess, choose to do yeah, many. Yeah. You know? Okay. So let's say, but the money, it's basically that you're wealthy. Wealthy doesn't mean just money. Wealthy is that you have all these yeah. things that you acquire. You have access. You have access. Well, not access. That's a well. You do. You have more access with to, wealth to all to these things. things. Yeah. Right. Um, and then like the good looks things, not much you can do about that. <laughs> um, f- f- yeah. Look, guys, it is a test. Physical prowess, yeah. <laughs> physical <laughs> prowess, physical, pr- physical prowess, <laughs> Again, right? Yes, a- a- athleticism. Yeah, like, yes. You know? yeah, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just talking about <laughs> wajib. <wagon. laughs> it's tough. Yeah. Bro. Um, Someone's got to do it. So <laughs> Allah tests us in different ways. So, so like, what's I think what they're talking about is someone who's very successful, is accomplished. Like not everybody. You know, he's over fifty. That blows my mind. Who? Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, is he yeah. already fifty? No, nah. pretty sure he's like fifty-three nah, 40s, or something. Forties. 
no, nah, he's in his forties, man. Nah. I don't sure. think he's that old. Tom Cruise, like he's he's sixty. Tom Cruise yeah. is he just turned yeah, he's sixty. He looks younger than I do. Yeah, I think I think you're thinking about uh, the other one. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Matt Damon. No, no, no. The other big one, the one that played Troy. I forget these actors' names. Brad, oh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right. also 60, he's, he's like 60. fifty something. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Seven fifty eight. No, yeah. fifty eight. I think. Right, these these yeah. these guys were kids when we were young. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But how do they? Yeah. Mid life crisis. <laughs> good looks. Good looks. Accomplishment. Yeah. Uh, the, these are things. Yeah. These are these are actors, right? Or a sports person, like for example, Habib, right? Mm. Habib. If we look at him, what is it that we respect in him? Mm. Is it's character. Like, is a champ? No, no. If you imagine he was losing every match, we wouldn't. True, true. Yeah. First, first, a, yeah, first, undefeated, is a right? Yeah, so undefeated it's, it's first what, thing yeah. is that he's accomplished. He's accomplished in what he's like. He's he's amazing what he did. Like yeah. he's an amazing grappler, yeah. right? MMA fighter, whatever. So, like he's accomplished. Like he's trained so hard. Yeah. That's one aspect of it, or it's just. That he's gifted. Allah gave him this gift. Gave, that, him, a, gave him a father who trained him. But look at Connor. Well, he also was. trained and, and accomplished so much, but he doesn't have the same level of respect. He doesn't know. He's, well, it's the way you carry yourself, and it depends. No, no, no. But that's, who's that's, that's more that to respect. do. That's more to do with his acting out, his persona. But he's, yeah, but the thing but, is, but he's the biggest money. He still is. Yeah. Like he attracts the most. Even when Habib, the only reason Habib's fight with him. Like it's Habib. not Habib that brings in the money. Habib. Yeah. It was Connor because he's, he's more entertaining. Yeah. And whatever, ma- like it's two hundred million, two hundred million dollars. The only reason Habib could Habib could never put on a show like Connor, yeah. right? So then you do respect Connor for what for his the mm. entertainment value, the uh, yeah, what he can do, yeah. uh, entertainment value. Yeah, before uh, his uh, like disrespect of Habib and so forth, because he must have a bias, obviously. But the thing is that he's the most entertaining UFC fighter. He probably made it like he took. He made UFC, it mainstream, yeah. He, he made yeah. UFC, took it into the stratosphere. Yeah. He was just entertaining. He was Dana White's uh, boy. You know, he loved him. <laughs> Dana know. White's son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but so he again. What what are we respecting there in both of these people? Achievements, yeah. uh, achievements, accomplishments. Um, they they are very good at what they do. So accomplishments. So even the accomplishment is entertainment in the ring. Um, um, the way they carry themselves. So these are like high value men, right? Yeah. From a sports field. Just trying to think of other areas, like business areas. Like who would be Elon Musk? He'll be a. I mean, I'm, doesn't matter. He's the richest man in the world. But all I can think of is that he's, coin. That he. That's <laughs> 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 all I can think of. <laughs> no, like he, like the fact that he made Tesla. That's an accomplishment, that's right? Pretty impressive. Um, he he's one of the founders of PayPal. Mm. That's an accomplishment. Right or uh, SpaceX, his accomplishment was PayPal. Tesla wasn't so much his accomplishment. Yeah, he there, was, just, there was two other people. But he took involved. it into next. He made a mainstream. Well, like he still yeah. like nobody did that. He ripped Everybody's, the other two off. Yeah, whatever. But he, the, the, it took him or Mark Zuckerberg made Facebook and he ripped the other. Well, that's my point. So that's still an accomplishment. You, that's yeah. not. That's it, it. Might not be ethical, but it's still an accomplishment to get there. Yeah, but do you respect? Just that? ruthless businessman. Yeah, I can't respect that. It's yeah. it's like the it's like the uh, football player, right? Um, uh, soccer football player. Yeah, Zlatan. Uh, who? Zlatan. Not Zlatan. Zlatan, 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 Zlatan no, no, the one that um, uh, like they were about to score a goal. Um, Against who? It's an old match. Like what? what did he just cut. He went from the back, and you know, it caused the penalty. But it, it, there was no choice because Ryan, Ryan Giggs. It's an old one. Yeah, yeah. He, like he went in and cut. That's the, the only one that I know from. from he cut the legs intentionally. He got to, sent off. Got red card. Yeah. But but that what that's what was needed to do do it. Like you respect yeah. that he sacrificed himself. Oh, that's Sergio Ramos. Yeah. Or that. for yeah. example, even yeah. uh, in the World Cup was a, a soccer means Argent- nothing to me. <laughs> Suarez. Suarez. No, Sergio Ramos. He's the one. And that, Suarez, uh, like he did the el- elbowed uh, Muhammad uh, Muhammad uh, Muhammad Salah. Yeah, and it broke his uh, collarbone, so he wouldn't ah, play in the World yeah. Cup. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, it's, it's like you what? could, yeah. it's, it's unethical. It's unethical. And it, was, and it was a clean tackle, like he tackled him in such a way, and he did it. You can see it in slow motion. Not even a yellow card. Nothing. Yeah, but he was a clean tackle, and he tackled him in such a way that he, he kind of like pulled him down, and he, where he had to land with his collarbone, yeah. he broke his collarbone, oh. and he was out of the World Cup. Yeah, and that was to win the championship. Of uh, yeah. uh, the, the La Liga, oh, okay, yep, the, the the Spanish league. Yeah, so w- what I'm saying is, that all <laughs> of, even those ones that are unethical, we kind of respect. It. Okay, that's uh, like yeah, I, See, I was that, like, that, I was, that, you, I was, that you respect because he's doing it. No, yeah, but he's strategic. doing that for his team. Yeah, he's not doing it for no, himself. He, he's not only doing it for his team. Doing he's doing it for his team and his country because he's thinking, that's my point. I'm going to meet this guy in the World Cup. Take yeah. him out now. Yeah, well, that's yeah. my point, right? So these other guys that I know. I, they, Maybe not Zuckerberg. I don't. I can't comment on because I don't know him. But these guys that do it just for themselves. Yeah. 
I can't respect that. Yeah. And I, I can't call that high value or an achievement because you know what? You just trod on someone else for your own benefit. But if you're doing it for your team, your country, it's, it's but, but again, family, that's, that's, that's your, that's, that is your my perspective. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But, but I think what Mullen's trying to say is the, the, the whole, uh, you know, high value man, that terminology comes from this stratosphere. Yeah. But is that, is that know? a good thing? Yeah. No, it's not a good thing. We're just discussing do we, it. Do like, we want know, that do high we, value man? How do we, how no, do no, we, I'll give you examples. How do we give throwing us off the, it's probably throwing us off the actual definition a bit, but I'm just, just trying but to. Do we want our Muslim youth to want to achieve this? That's but they're looking at these people, man, and they. No, no, but you want Muslims to have a get up and go, like not. You be, can have a get up and go, but it doesn't mean the definition has to be the same as what's mainstream. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Right, so that's where yeah. it. it so it's wh- not easy. Why can't why can't why can't they why can't a high value Muslim uh, man have you know wealth this that this this all all those yeah. all those, saying he can't all those things, but obviously he like even women like he has four wives for example. You know, yep. and and then and then on top yeah, of that, you know, is, is, is a pious man, you know. <laughs> yeah, but that's my that's point. So, but we're not. Wouldn't pushing, that be a, a high value? But we're Muslim not pushing man? the pious man bit. We're not pushing yeah. the salat bit. We're we're talking about high value. The whole world is pushing that. So what you're saying is okay. It's these accomplishments, but with it, it needs to be brought in. Hey, listen. Even if you do all of these, if you're not praying your salat, it's useless. Yeah. Even if you achieve all of these, if in the eyes of Allah you're a loser, you're mm. stuffed. Mm. Well, right. in the eyes of so Allah, the only success is, you know... Is deen. Is There's deen. no other... Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that should be front and center. And then, yes, we'll push all of these things, do all of these things. Don't forget this. Mm. That's yeah, been I, not I, being pushed. I, I think, like, you're, you're talk, not doing you're your talking job about properly, about the, you're talk- <laughs> Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're talking about the ideal, and I'm maybe speaking more pragmatically about the world that we live in. And no, we're, I'm, we're, I'm not, talking about finish? the... No. Uh, where, where they're at, <laughs> where, where people are at, and what yep. they are looking around. So um, you can say like education is like is only in the Quran and Sunnah. Yeah. If you can read Quran and write Quran, Arabic, and that's because that was the only education in the time of Rasulullah Sallam. Read and speak so. Arabic and Sahaba and there was and other sciences were not really there in the way. Like they had certain ideas of language yeah, and yeah. things, but it wasn't with it. So, but that doesn't negate going to a primary school, succeeding primary school or high school. I'm not negating that. I haven't finished. So <laughs> it's uh, our university and so forth. Mission today. Which is, uh, so <laughs> then same thing, I would think that you have your dini successes, mm. but then there's also an accompl- accom- accomplishment and ability to manage uh, to manage the world. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think disagree that's probably that. where, I, like a, how to manage society, community, Mm-mm. and that comes to, someone is accomplished. Like mm. it's somebody is. Uh, okay, so. And, and next, can, next time the youth and, comes and can to take you. on the challenges, like in so face. What are you going to say next time the youth comes to you? Just watch Andrew Tate. No, no, no <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. But what I'm saying is that there's something. There's a truth in there. That's yes. why it resonates. Truth. I agree. Truth has a way. Like it's not just there's element of truth in there. And I think the why young men, because I was speaking to one of the other alim, said like he teaches in a school. A Muslim school and you know year seven students are quoting Andrew Tate. <laughs> Dude, my <laughs> kids were talking about Andrew Tate in the car. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're but sitting in the back and they're saying something. They're about quoting Andrew him Tate. to girl. They're quoting. Yeah. Apparently, they're quoting the I, girls in classrooms. Oh, <laughs> I was, I was. You, <laughs> yeah, know, you no. know, I went. Uh, I, I was at Coles and I, I can hear this young girl on the phone uh, describing somebody that uh, some some boy or something that she knows and he, and she's like, yeah, he's like a mini Andrew Tate. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it's you just hear that name everywhere <laughs> yeah, now, <yeah>. you know. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely uh, co- got the uh, p- um, caught the popular. So you, 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 there's going to be a shift in the psyche of all these young men and women. Yeah, I, I can. You can because you can if he's got that, that many followers, and yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. Like the amount of people, everyone's talking about him. I mean, we're sitting yeah, yeah. here talking about him. Yeah, yeah. no, no, but uh, that that term, high value man. Like, why is it? Like, he's like himself. He's got like his. Look at him. He's a world champion. Um, have you guys have you guys heard of Kevin Samuels? Yeah, he passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he was also. Oh, but this guy loves Kevin. Samuels. He was. He was also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was more targeting African American, like his own community, like yeah. trying to snap them out of the the women out of the. Um, oh man, he was funny though. Yeah, <laughs> he is ruthless, <laughs> savage. Yeah, yeah he's savage. There's, there's whole compilations of his videos online uh, yeah. of Kevin Samuels. Uh, the late he passed away like last month, only a month ago, a month or two months ago. Yeah, he did. But too. Uh, he was ba- he was like giving a reality check, like women who thought they were ten uh, when they were like four, yeah. and then and I mean that if that they they themselves classified as ten, and he said no, no, you're 
you're lucky you'll be five, you yeah. know, like to their face, you know, like he was look, he was ruthless, but he was giving them a reality check. And mm. then they were demanding that they get a man, high value man in their terminology. Mm. Like the, the women, they would say, well, I want a high value. I deserve a high value, a, man, a, a rich, that. successful X, Y, Z, yeah. look at this, that, like she puts out all the condition. He goes, uh, he goes, you're fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's saying, why would he want you? Like he was, was as an example, yeah. I'm fat. Like, but it, like he was, he was like, he was, he was, um, he was, uh, um, like he was, you know, like putting was, them, was giving them a reality check. Realist. Like you cannot yeah, expect this guy. This guy, if he's, let's say he's worth two, three million dollars, why would he want to be with you? Yeah. You've got you three go, kids, you know, you're, 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 you're 35 years old, probably. You know, done with your eggs. Yeah. You know. Yeah, like that's how he spoke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was it was ruthless, but men, he spoke a lot of truth. And people celebrated, like a lot of people that hate him, celebrate when he died. He just died of a heart attack, that's right? Yeah, yeah. So they celebrated, and like, why? Uh, that means he was getting through. Like I mean, he's there permanently now. The internet, mm. you can't cancel him. Like he's always, he's, there always the reminder will be there. He's, a guy got sick and died, and you're now making you celebrating yeah. because you didn't want to hear the painful truth, yeah. the reality. But what it did was, you know what it was like. It was probably these guys. They came out of nowhere. Just one. They after did come another. out of nowhere. They did come absolutely out of, yeah, come yeah. out and, of nowhere. But I think they're sort of waking up. Um, I'm not sure. Like uh, men reasserting themselves. Uh, like that's how maybe many men. Uh, feel. I think we're a generation away from that. If that's the case, I reckon two, because you have you have these oh, Gen Zs so. that are. You know, absolutely gone. They're cooked. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> cooked. The stories that I hear you about know? what's happening in high schools, my mind is blown. Yeah, it's it's the it's the generation beneath them. They're yeah, they're they're pretty interesting to talk. Yeah, because they're the ones that have looked up to these ones and have just gone like yeah. the, the year sixes, General sevens. They've looked up to like you know even probably year fives. They've looked up to the year nines, tens, elevens, and twelves of now yeah. and just gone. Yeah, I'm not that. I'm not yeah. going to be like that. Yeah, it's it's actually very interesting. You can you can wow. see the divide in the generation. You can, and like, it's so clear. Yeah, it is actually so wow. clear. Like okay. I'm not going to be like that. Yeah, even year nines. Yeah, year nines look at year 10, 11, and twelves and go nah. and university like you know twenty year olds and go, what's wrong with that guy? I think I think the lockdown caused the rift. Like it was. It was, uh, do you know what I mean? It was necessary. Everyone sat home. It was a reset. You know, reset. Think yeah. about. Great reset. You know, yeah. <laughs> everything. And then all of a sudden everyone's, subhanallah. yeah, subhanallah. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah. Because people, we weren't in each other's faces, that influence of friends or people you around. Had, we had they, social they media, had, but. People had time to just think. Even think. kids. Yeah. Or sleep. Yeah, exactly. So maybe in conclusion, in the high value men, is that Islamically, like inside of Allah, what's valuable? Like if you have high yes. value to Allah is uh, like who is highly who Allah loves is awliya, right? They are also accomplished in their mm -hmm. piety, mm. right? They're accomplished in their ibadah. They're mm. accomplished in their akhlaq, right? These are things. Mm. Um, but in the world, when you're dealing with human beings, human beings value things. Yeah. They don't value, uh, very few are in tune with and yeah, appreciate okay. people's uh, piety. That's because true. Because that's yeah. for Allah. It's not for people, right? When is you're that, dealing is that with why you're struggling? <laughs> why? why? <laughs> yeah, very that was a low blow, bro. <laughs> why? So then, for theref therefore, that wasn't meant to be loud. Was a joke. Theref therefore, um, I love you. <laughs> uh, stop touching me. Uh, <laughs> therefore, um, you know, like, for, what's a standard of high value? I think that's basic standard of being wealthy, mm -hmm. running mm -hmm. successful, quote unquote, businesses like that are productive. Yeah. Someone who's productive, accomplished successful and you know yeah mm. it's and and, and good and looks, wakes up and good, and good looks get a free ride you yeah. know like uh, it's, that's just, just simple as that that's there's so nothing true, you though. can do about that like well, there is cosmetic surgery no no it will never be natural beauty that people Allah has given to yeah, um, it won't match. somebody like that's yeah. just uh, that's a gift from Allah Allah made Yusuf alayhi salam beautiful handsome you know like mm. that's just that's a that's a that's a gift, right? Yeah. Some people are given a beautiful voice. Some people beautiful character. Some people are not. They're not just. <laughs> <laughs> they're just. They're just. What's that? Not. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Robert Mugabe quote. I think we quoted it once. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> 
Don't tell us about your inner beauty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Men do not walk around with x-rays. <laughs> <laughs> Something like along those lines. <laughs> that uh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell us about your inner beauty. <laughs> from, from the what is it? It's a recording online from the school of Mugabe quotes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess like I think you li- you're living on earth, you're living amongst human beings. They want certain things what are the things that they value i would say somebody's accomplished uh even in dini matters you know that exactly and someone okay. who takes maybe maybe from a basic level yeah, but even non muslims respect somebody that is accomplished in dini matters yeah. and respects their own deen yeah and it also it stands out and, uh, and they can they know when someone's not a muslim they know that and they meet someone people they who are know consistent. Yeah. this guy's straight up with the, his god mm. and people who take responsibility i think that quality especially when it comes to women i guess like in the concept women muslim women mm. then they t- want a someone who um is responsible mm. like that's I, th- I, th- i think no no that's but that's ex- I, i think if <laughs> <laughs> that combines everything what you're saying the deen things because rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Allah everyone Allah. is um, responsible for their flock mm. right mm. i think that probably is the mas'ul he's mas'ul he's responsible for his uh, flock and a husband is responsible for his family and a wife is responsible for the kids mm-hmm. and so forth and so i think that is what is should be like instilled is resp- now responsibility can uh, manifest in taking care of the wife taking care of the kids or bring kids of your business of your society because it also means the ruler is responsible for his mm-hmm. uh, yeah, subjects yeah. like a what is it that we appreci- yeah. what do we appreciate um, about a good ruler good govern- gov- government a good uh, prime minister a good premier <laughs> uh, right what is it he takes the responsibility of his people seriously well yeah. then you scomo know, he makes sure that he puts a lot <laughs> five jobs yeah, yeah. <laughs> i know right yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, was, he was so responsible <laughs> he was so responsible he was too responsible he, he he did it he didn't even complain he just he just kept it, it to himself and just did it just did it <laughs> see that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. Um, well, he was you too, know what? But he was what, too responsible. Yeah. <laughs> no, but from what he said, that's why he did it. Yeah. Did, he, did he actually say that? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. that and you want to brag about it? You want to tell everybody that I'm doing this? Wow. <laughs> it's ikhlas. <laughs> <laughs> it was very <laughs> sincere. <laughs> so no, no, but I think that's that hadith that yeah. every one of you is responsible. You know, and the ruler is responsible for his people, and the people are responsible as responsible to the ruler. I think that is maybe under the title of respons- instead of high value. Maybe yeah, the responsible, the responsible man. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the the responsible yeah. Man. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. The, responsible the responsible man. The responsible man. man. Yeah, yeah, I think that is. Uh, Doesn't Jordan Peterson always talk about responsibility and taking responsibility? And, and, and even he, he does, yeah. And even in like someone is successful, like as a CEO, uh, well, he's responsible for the company and the employees. You can't, you can't be successful if you're not responsible. Yeah, exactly. Like he has to take the whole company. Oh, you can. Press. How many CEOs no, no, have ripped no, off their companies and no, taken off? Look at F forty five. There's there's a few exceptions. Yeah, Generally, no, the CEOs, those guys that are um, the high successful CEOs, high, high performance, like what what uh, Jordan Peterson talks about, the high uh, performing men, mm. they're they're like a very small class of people. Mm. Yeah. And these guys are working 18 hours a week, 18 hours a day. Yeah. Like they absolutely yeah, like the prime one of the prime ministers of Japan, he used to sleep four hours. Yeah. Like that's the type of yeah. like there are a certain breed of men that fall into that. Sp- like very minor I mean, they yeah. sacrifice family and everything yeah. that's not me so yeah. like so uh, so those are those are like but then again what they take they take their job they're so responsible for their job they take it so seriously mm. so i think that's maybe the um compromise that i can make with you i'm not run, i'm not running for pm then <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, i think that's the high value replacement with responsible men and then within that he you know he could be responsible for four wives <laughs> 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 everything comes under that <laughs> Uh, go I'm trying to, to I'm trying to find the uh, the rule the what do you call the um, the the, uh, the ground. no 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 but the, I think it's important our youth need to the know theory this of everything you know oh. yeah. one, you know well our yeah. our youth need to understand this What's that? that this there is an idea of what Andrew Day Tate John Peterson or the in likes Islam, of this yeah and it's it, the responsible people, man and that is there yeah and that is good however that is not the be all end all Mm-mm. because that's what that's what's in the psyche of our youth like this is and then I'll pray and I'll go to the mosque no 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 you all of these things have to come together yeah because you're right there there is there is a bit of neglect with these types right, of people is, that they look explaining. the next step from this is atheism yeah yeah because i'm achieving i'm doing i'm this is what happened this is look what i did da, 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 and that's what the next step is mm-hmm. and if we don't rein that in 
Yeah. And just control that whole high value man thing with, yeah, but that's only if Allah gives but you I the think, ability. But I think they are, they will always, the high value man, as they define it, will always exist. Yeah. There will always be wealthy men. There will be always. Of uh, course there will. Uh, there will it's always, been like that since No, no, but there will always be people, the movers and shakers who will outdo everybody. And everybody will end up working for them. I mean, that sort of thing. Like that's what it yeah. means. That so they will succeed and beat everybody, right? So those guys, they're going to be always exist. You know, well, like, the, I think even uh, what, what was one thing that we probably were missing from the definition of the high value man. It, it, what, I think you touched a little bit on it. Um, it's it's the, uh, the 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 men that uh, sorry the the men that women want. Like all the yeah. women, the majority of the women, all the yeah. high value women want. Yeah, mm. no, no, not high value women. Just all women, all women yeah. want, you know, a high value man. All they settle for for less. Yeah, but what they want is a is 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 that top tier man. Ultimately, yeah. yeah, and so I think that's that's but that's like same with all a, men. Yeah, ultimately they want this and, and, type and, of woman. And it comes down to also like the is the value defined by, uh, and that's what you were talking about as well. So if the value is defined by Money, yeah, or they want like their whole package. He has to be over six foot. He has to be rich. He has to be, uh, like uh, the Rock, and he has to, you know, like uh, like fit like the Rock. Yeah, you know, like m- they put all these criterias, which are, and they're not ready. They have nothing to offer because by the time they realize what a high value man is, it's and ticks yeah. and they're not ready to, like, like yeah. it's, it's there's certain things you realize later in life, but and that's what Kevin Samuels he talks about is that your um. Uh, because it, he puts on, he's got a clock there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. He's tick tock, tick tock, it yeah. starts clicking, like ticking, you know, he goes, yep, your uh, time's getting, your your uh, biological <laughs> clock is working against you. You've only got like two, three good years to give to him and mm. to give him, he wants kids. And uh, so now, like what value are you to him? Yeah. Because this is what he wants. He wants uh, lineage, he wants progeny, children, so forth. What have you got to give him? Yeah. So like, it might be ruthless, but he gives everybody, he gives them like an honest take yeah. of what they should expect. Not but what this they is why people are rallying against it. Because he's forcing... He's not forcing. He's not well, forcing no, 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 no. Listen, let me finish. I, th- I yeah. think he's doing them let a favor. Let me finish. Yeah. He is forcing people to look in the mirror in a very scary way. And people are not ready to look in the mirror. Yeah. yeah. He's honest. Yeah. The, like this is the honest. thing. Today in the that's, world... That's so true. People are not ready. Today in the ready. world, people are not ready to look in the mirror. If you're... 40, 45, 50, 60 years like, old, 70. <laughs> and, it, and, and you listen to this like, well, I don't have hope. I've just, what, you, what you're basically being told is you've wasted the last 20 years, 30 yeah. years. Yeah. What are you going to do now? Yeah. Right? So, and people are not ready for that. Yeah. Meet someone that's 70 years that's old. That's why they hate him because, yeah. but, and they think that he's creating the reality by saying, like even the agitation. But he's not creating, yeah. But no, that's, that's not, he's not creating, he's just saying it. That's, mm. that's the saying, thing. And, yeah, but and they don't you, like it. If you're 70 years old, I've, you know, I don't want to say names or whatever, but you speak to a 70 year old that's made, and you can see in his life, yeah, he's made some serious errors in judgment. Mm. I thought it was written for it to happen that way, but there were certain steps that were taken or things that were done, and you're looking at this and just going, I don't want to be like that. Yeah. But that man will always talk about how successful he is mm. and what he's done right because he cannot afford to look at the wrong steps that were taken because that means my whole life is a lie. Mm. That's scary. Yeah. Right? That's, that, yeah, that's, that's talking about and that's something else. And that goes with women and that goes with all, like all of us. Yeah. Like if, we don't look at, if we don't look at ourselves in the mirror and go, right, it's X, Y, and Z, it's not too late to fix it. You need to fix it. But you have to have some home truths and be ready to smash yourself. Mm. And just go, yeah, you're a... I think this... this you're a loser. Let's uh, become this, a non-loser. I reckon this, this problem with people, uh, you know, over-valuing themselves comes from social media. 100%. You know, if, if you're on yeah. social media, you're getting likes, you're getting all these... Uh, but it comes know. from school as well. Ha- you're in a race. Yeah. Guess what? There's no first, second, or third. Now it's all participation. <laughs> yeah. It, it, Yay! Last, well, like, well done. done. You, yeah. you, you took part in the race. That's so true. Yeah, subhanAllah. Right? I've, I've seen with my own eyes, you know, someone saying, oh, look, it doesn't matter whether you, whether you win or lose, it's how you play the race. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is how you play the race, whether but you did it fairly, but it does matter whether you win or lose. Yeah, so what's the yeah. point? Because you don't, you, life doesn't give you, you know, prizes for participation. They've literally taken the point away, the point of the race. That's why it's called a race. Yeah. 
Otherwise, you know what? We're all just going to go for a run around the block. Doesn't matter who comes first, second, or third. Yeah. Right. What? What? What is the Olympics? First, second, or third? Why do we have uh, AFL? Mm. Who's got the wooden spoon? Who's top of the ladder? Mm-mm. Who? To, who wins it? But we don't do that with like today, today's generation or whatever generation kids. That's not there. The whole participation thing is there. My feelings are hurt if you say X, Y. Well, no, but th- th- that's reality. Yeah. Yeah. There are winners and losers. In yes. Life. There's people that become rich, people become poor. All of we're us. We're not all the same. Yeah. Not, we don't live in communism. <laughs> and like that. that yeah. no, Even com- communism, you're not all the same. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, if you're part of the Politburo, you're killing it. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at, yeah. um, if you have a look at just, ah, just, oh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. And I think that's one of the problems. People, we're not ready. Every single one of us has stuffed up. Mm. you got to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I stuffed up. Now I need to pick myself up. Let's learn from that mistake and move on. Yeah, And you accept know, th- maybe reality as well. But the best yeah. thing a friend of mine said, he, um, this, this, this was a few years ago now, he went through some really like, tough stuff where this guy ripped him off big time. Like we're talking some serious dollars, hundreds yeah. of thousands of dollars, but he's responsible for paying that money back. And I said, bro, how, how are you going to cope? Like, how are you going to do this? You're stressing out. He goes, listen, whatever's happened, and this is how he lives his life, and mashallah, he's very successful. Whatever's happened to this moment is what it is. I can't look at the past. I need to find a solution for this and move on. Yeah, mashallah. Like, that's, that, I can't articulate it as well as he did. Mm. It was a moment, you know, mm. that really that hit means home he's accomplished me. and he's like... Oh, he's very accomplished. Like that that, uh, he's accomplished in dealing with the here and now. Yes. Like he's not a type that... He's accomplished in his dealing with his emotions. Yeah. I think that's uh, like... I, when it comes to the men's... So we talked about the women, sort of what they want. Mm. They want security, stability, and emotional stability and all that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some don't want to be emotional. Uh, <laughs> someone to like someone drama. Someone to poke. <laughs> some someone to poke the bear and yeah. you know get here a reaction, and that go. that keeps the spice uh, like a thing. But um, with the, with the young <laughs> men, especially, they what do they respect? Strength. Mm. They hate weakness. They hate it in their parents if mm. their parents are weak, mm. and they they try to get away from that. They hate weakness. Like if it, not like sometimes strength like. Uh, yeah, strength doesn't mean oppression. We need to make no, no, that no. Clear. Strength is that people stand their ground. They want to be more like ext- like sometimes it takes strength to be patient and be quiet, mm. yes, right? Yeah. But as a young person, you usually don't appreciate that as much as yeah. later on you appreciate. Or oh, sometimes, um, just by being quiet and patient, that takes a type of strength. Yes. You know, it's not weakness. It's actually that's honor. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's just a person knows to control themselves. I actually think so it's, it's, it's even it, that's even a greater strength. Yeah, it's profound. Like it's it's that person is like he's got a he's accomplished in his own self. Yeah, yeah. and I think like, but for young men, they want to see that. uh, In if you put it in the modern terms, they want to see strength. They want to see power. They want to see a respect. They don't want to see weakness. Mm. So when they see like Andrew Tate, oh, a guy who doesn't take crap, he's not scared of the system, and he speaks his mind, Mm. and he calls a spade a spade. They respect that. Mm. You know what's interesting? I just thought about this. Like from our youth, <clears throat> the guys we used to look up to, Tupac. Oh, yeah. Right? These type of guys that we used to look up to, musicians, superstars, whatever. Maybe not, not Sahaba. you. Sahaba. You used Sahaba. to look up to Sahaba. <laughs> Sahaba. <laughs> yeah. Allah, Allah make us all like that. But I mean. w- w- the type of people that people used to look up to in our age, in mm. our generation, mm. compared to the type of people don't look up to rap stars anymore. They well, want to be like them or listen to the music and think well, it's you can't, cool. You can't look but, up to but them. But the mature, but the actual youth now, the young kids, yeah. like I said, you know, year nines downwards, year tens downwards, whatever it is. These guys are actually now, their psyche is changing now. I want to be successful, but not like a rap star. Yeah. Like that's changed yeah, as well. Like the, a mover the, the, shaker. The idols, for want of a better word, have changed. Yeah. yeah. From... You know, back in our generation, I think social media played a big role in this to whoever's on TV or whoever's got the best music out yeah. to this. Now, there's it, still... A social, social media made fame cheaper. Yeah, and there's a, there's still a generation you know, that still goes after, you know, that want to be gangsters and gangster rap and all this other crap. But that's not that's a minority now. Yeah. And they're just getting locked up. Yeah. 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 If you like what you're talking about, being the same, being equal... Speaking of which, but I think it's just generational thing. Younger people are usually cont- contrarians, and they and they're waking they, up, man. They want to. They, they, they want. No, they don't want to do the same thing. They're bored with what their parents are doing. 
Their parents are boring. They're bored with what Parents are always boring. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are, how cool you are, you always be no, boring to kids. No, but the thing is... The no matter how much you take them camping and... Here we go. Uh, the how my, much you spend time... They, they still think you're boring, mate, compared to what the ideas they got. No, but my <laughs> point is, it's not parents anymore. Yeah. Mm. It's only people five years older than them. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, Th- that it's, means you're it's really boring parent. for them. Yeah, that's right. We're over the hill. Yeah. yeah. But I'm talking about guys that are five, six, seven years older than them. Forget about your parents 20 years older than you, 30 years older than you. Mm. Right, there's a big change. It's qu- it's interesting. It's scary, but what's the pushback that's going to happen? The first pushback was this guy getting cancelled, or everything going off. But now, what's going to happen next? If you have young boys, the first thing I think you should tell them is Andrew Tate's role model and biggest hero was his own father. You know, that's who he talks yeah. about. Chess all the time. So what? So they go and Chess look up. Grand. So Chess what? They go and look up <laughs> Andrew Tate's father and go. I want to yeah, be like that. I'm just. I'm just grandmaster. I'm just saying. Was he? That, yeah. yeah, it was uh, CIA as well. Yeah. Yeah. It was a interesting. W- weird, interesting guy. Yeah. There you go. I, I don't know much extremely about Extremely intelligent, Tate. like extremely... Yeah, yeah but, that's, but that's what he says. So I love yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Speaking of... Uh, I'm not sure he was a grandmaster, speaking but he was a great chess Extremely player, intelligent yeah. guys. Uh-huh. Gorbachev. Mm. Passed away, yeah. Yeah, passed yeah. away. The man responsible for the, f- for the fall of the Soviet Union... Very accomplished. The man, man responsible yeah. for... Well, yeah. <laughs> the he man was, resp- yeah. Well, he's the one he that's... Humiliated the Soviets... 1983, he's the one that signed, signed the treaty for the... Um, betrayed his people. To de- decrease, uh, what's it called, nuclear weapons. Yeah. Mm. Fall of the Berlin Wall was on his watch. But you know why he did that? Why? Why did he reduce a nuclear thing? Because everyone was going to blow each other no, up otherwise. No, that's why, why. no. No, yeah. because it's going to... That's the thing. The Soviet Union was economically collapsed. It was too expensive to yeah. do it. Yeah. That was actually the real thing. They were about to starve. But they did, because, they uh, did starve and collapse afterwards. No, no, that's but, what happened. But the, the, like we, sh- like yeah. those, are, those are in hindsight sort of thing. I think there's like a revisionist. Initially, was because they were on the brink of like collapse, economic collapse, because they're trying to. The arm race was actually costing them too much to keep up. They couldn't keep up with the United States. Okay. In the arm race, so yeah. they uh, they had no choice but to. So do you think he? Do you think he betrayed his people though? No, no, I'm just exaggerating. But right. I think for Putin, probably. Oh, Putin, hundred percent. Because <laughs> yeah. Putin was in Germany when <laughs> yeah. the war fell. Yeah, he was, and he Gorbachev was ch- just watched. Yeah. Was, uh, Starkey, whatever Starsky, the, the, the he was in charge of the secret police there or whatever. The Stas, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Stasky, what? Yeah, Stasi, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So. There's an interesting right. documentary about that. That specific incident. Yeah. No, the uh, the special uh, police. Uh, but that's that's something else. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. So even even now he was very critical of Putin before he died. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, like. There, a, I he, can't he, imagine there would have been much love lost between those two. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it was a, like a d- demo- like he hoped for democracy and you know all that sort of the good things. But after the f- fell, the fall of collab- collapse of the Soviet Union, I, he he had a political party, but no one really voted for well, him. And he, he's the one that so that shows well, you. No, that. he was a communist. He w- he was part of the Communist Party. Yeah, it was when Yeltsin came in. Mm. And yeah. he outlawed the Communist Party that Gorbachev had to say, all right, bring down the the red flag from the, on top of the Kremlin and that's it. We're, it's all changing. So people blame him for the so- fall of the Soviet Union. Mm. But then you've got this whole other generation that says, well, he's the one that gave us our freedoms. The wall came down. You know, mm. <coughs> we opened up to the world. We had a democratically yeah, celebrated elected government. Yeah. So he, 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 well, he celebrated from the West. Yeah, it was the first one. But like even in the Eastern European states and other places, mm. he celebrated. Yeah, his, his home. The Istans, yeah. Yeah. Well, his well, home well, was well in Crimea. Got, they got independence. Oh, really? Yeah. His family home was in Crimea. So he's oh, Ukrainian. Wow. How okay. interesting is that? Okay, interesting. But back then there was no. Well, that's Ukraine. that. that <laughs> yeah, there's a, there, sorry. You know, back then there wasn't Ukraine. There wasn't. There Ukraine. was Ukraine. There's always been Ukraine. I thought. I no, thought no, they, they were part uh, of the USSR. That's yeah, but USSR has Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, all these yes, other countries yeah. were in it. So it's not like there wasn't a Ukraine. It's just no, it was a Soviet Ukraine Union. Was it was a Soviet Union. They, they, that was it's a not it Ukraine. What he's saying is it's not Ukraine no, as you we know it now. Yeah, you're yeah, nitpicking. I'm just saying yeah, there was a Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine existed before the Soviet Union. Yeah, we're not saying it didn't. What he's saying is it was part of the USSR. Yeah, yeah. All right, whatever. Yeah, who cares? There was Ukraine. I <laughs> get it right, mate. Um, get out of here. Speaking of. Um, uh, they've what? been attacking Crimea, man. They're yeah. on the front foot now. Yeah, yeah. they just got there. The, the Ukra- Russians? The, the, no, the Ukrainians are now like... Are going back into Crimea? Uh, they've already I've done attacks in the last two weeks. They've been done attacks there. Yeah. Depots are built. The Russians are moving. They've moved all their planes out now, mm. out of Crimea. And Russians are leaving en masse. 
What they're it, losing Crimea? Because the it's like a holiday place. Like yeah, a, that it was. A resort. Black Sea. Yeah, so there's yeah. like a resort thing. So they're leaving on mass because there's constant attacks there now. They've got these uh, missile rockets that can reach like 100 kilometers. Are they, they're German, aren't they? I think well, the yeah, whole, whatever, the whatever. West has supplied yeah, all their yeah. elite So weapons. now they're on a, like the city that the Russians have taken that's been like re- they, they're getting it back now. So they're actually on the front foot now. Can you imagine yeah. how many weapons they've got that haven't even ever been tried in a battlefield? You, yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah good, send it that way. Let's yeah, they would have. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So there, there'd be a lot of stuff that we don't I even th- know about. I reckon it will spill into like other Eastern European countries. Uh, and nobody wants their country escalate to like and that. escalate. Mm. I don't know because it's it's it, it it's been going on for too long. Not really. It's only been what six months. Yeah, but it, the prediction was that, you know, oh, it's Russia, it's going to be quick, they're going to come yeah, But that's in. what they said about Afghanistan. They left yeah. 20 years later. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what else? China's flexing mes- muscle in the... Uh, well, China's, not, China's not flexing any muscle. It's the Solomon Islanders that, have, <laughs> that are taking these <laughs> steps to ban any um, foreign uh, military ships. Yeah. Or any, I think, yeah, any foreign foreign military ships from coming in, and what they're saying is they're changing their protocols, or well, they're, they're updating their protocols mm. for these ships to come in. So the way they apply and the process that they apply. Yeah. So I think the USS Mercy is there. That's it. That's the hospital ship. Yeah. But apart from that, now a, a few ships have been rejected. Now the interesting thing is, there were Chinese ships that had come in. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so that's, what else? The, yeah. That's the scary bit. Yeah. So what's going on? Yeah. And D- it's there's literally there's a lot of upheaval. It's, man, a, it's yeah. our backyard. The world, the, the, with, with China and Taiwan, that whole the thing that happened last two weeks with the visiting mm, constant Pelosi, st- what a Pelosi and others they're visiting. Then um, they took the ships this week through the yes. strait, like just to let yep. the Chinese know. Yeah. The Chinese that, says it's theirs. All right, stop well, us. Like sort not, of thing. They yeah. not. It's not theirs because it's against all international maritime mm. laws. Yeah. They're making a fake islands like, <laughs> like made in China. <laughs> islands. Yeah, but all these fake <laughs> islands are basically military bases. Yeah. No, no, but they're not islands. They just like started <laughs> putting soil there on top of like reefs, yeah. and yeah. then they build an air air like a airfield. Like airfield on it. And he goes, "All right, our border extends all the way from China up to this island." Yeah. You know, it's no, nah, <laughs> like it doesn't work like that. And so the I think Americans and the English and all the Western they take the ships through it anyway. Yeah. And said, "All right, try to stop it." You know. Like sort of thing, yeah. And yeah. Like it's just like to prove a point, yeah. And um, I don't think China would even dare to probably invade. I don't think they want to invade um, Taiwan. I don't mm. think they have the ability to. Do you it's, think it's not? You, it's firstly, it's not land based. Like yeah. look at Russia and think we've got a which just surrounds Crimea. Uh, sorry, um, Ukraine, and they can't. Yeah, and, thing. An and imagine you're, you're an island, and they, these guys are coming in. They just they know now. Like but China have learnt through Russia's experience. Don't uh, mess with this. And then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they, and they, it will make the economy yeah. collapse. Yeah. Like the Chinese economies, with all the, um, uh, you know, these big construction companies collapsing. Everglade. And there's another one as well this week. Yeah. And they, you know, what they're doing now because they they're just they're dropping s- the buildings. They, yeah. they like uh, they they they're just twenty story buildings, like yeah, a dozen of them. No, they're more than twenty rotten. stories, man. Yeah, yeah, massive, like fifty story buildings because no one's living in them. Yeah, so that it was it, they're rotting. Actually, there was a uh, I saw on Reddit um, some guy he just walks up and literally just digs out the cement out of the walls. And this is a skyscraper. Wow. Oh, it's like really badly done. Yeah, just so brutal. Yeah, yeah. So they so so. Like scary, yeah. China's scary. like uh, economic situation is not the future Very doesn't look good. Mm. Aging population, right? Yangtze River's dried up. Yeah, so they so that that's you know climate change. Water to three hundred million. The people. world's ending. The yeah. world's ending. That's <laughs> it is. It's well, end of the world. It's end of the world. That, that is Read what all is about happening. it. Look, look yeah. at the we- the weather extremes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like in Pakistan. So, like do you admit climate change is real now? I think climate change, climate Here change is real. Whether it's human cause or not, that's another issue. No, no. You are always, yeah. about, but you're always about, about. No, I'm definitely on that uh, view. That, yeah. that it, it is real, but I, I do but not I reckon think that it's when I look by humans. When, but then again, like if you're stuck nah, in traffic bro. on a fr- no, no. If you're stuck on a highway in traffic, and you look down, and you see in Australia, there's like 20 million cars, and that's they're all 99 percent are non-electric. Have you been to India? That's what I'm, I'm, That's what he's, oh, like okay, I'm okay. he's building up to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. India, then China, the big, big population, the amount of smoke that's going up. That has to have some effect. 
Yeah. Do you know, so this is, this is so music I, to my ears right now. <laughs> the fact that you're starting to believe in climate and, change. And uh, it's not about, I believe in climate no, change, no, but whether don't. it's human no, beings didn't. and how much percentage are human beings. So, for example, when volcanoes explode around the world, how much do they add to the climate change? Well, like, I, 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 I looked this up. Um, and it's it's very very important that you use the right keywords, otherwise you'll be thrown off, right? Okay. So so um, uh, the amount or the, the total percentage amount that is contributed by humans of uh, compared to natural CO two, it's two percent. So so the world produces ninety eight percent of its natural CO two, and we contribute two percent. Out of that two percent, one point five percent is is, is no no is expelled <laughs> is expelled and escapes into uh, space, like it it, it evaporates. The sun mm. evaporates it. So there's literally our contribution is 05 percent. No bro. Yeah, look it up. I'll, you know what? No, I'll, I want I'll, you to bring the facts and yeah, figures. Yeah, I'll, I'll share it with you. But guys. that might be sufficient to like push us over the edge. edge. Could it be? Who sunk the ship? I don't know. I yeah. I just. I the think camel, the straw that broke the camel's do you know, back. Do, do you know? My, I've got this. I've got this uh, conspiracy theory that climate change is actually caused by the number one thing that sits in the sky that regulates our temperature: the sun. That's what I think mm. is changing the climate. Well, the sun. Yeah, when yeah. it gets hotter, it gets because, colder. No, it gets we, hotter. We, we we notice it. The CO, or, or, the, CO2 or the, the Earth's the, tilt. Those two things. No, I don't no. think it's uh, human beings at all. I think it's Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Of course, it's Allah subhanahu wa no. ta'ala. But the CO2 that we expel is keeping uh, the heat within uh, within no, I, the Earth's atmosphere. To me, it, it just sounds like complete audacity. Like like human, like human, you, you know, human beings, you think you're going to change? Bro, have you you know, seen, no way. No, no, no. Have you seen the amount of garbage in the Pacific Ocean? Right? Uh, just think about how much rubbish every Friday, that's, that, that's our bin day, that's just collected from my house. Bro. Uh, my street. Yeah, and the recycling and how much of it is recycled, how much of it is not. Bananas come wrapped in pla- where, where plastic. Did, where did that rubbish come from? It's yes. uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, so but <laughs> you, you can say that about you know cyanide. You can say that about there's, like there's nuclear a, waste. Yeah, it Look, came from the earth, so you just chuck it back into the earth anyway. No, no, no. no but last week, last week, uh, that, that's uh, not a logical. No, argument. No, there's a recently someone did a study on how much, um, how much. Um, how much um, I got to do this thing on my app? Like, uh, if I don't, I lose my forty-seven day streak. What are you doing? What is it? Language oh, how long have you got uh, left? Um, so I got seven minutes. And I've got oh to do no! This. <laughs> Let me just do it. Yeah, do it now. Well, all right, while he's doing his app, so Alada, let's go back to the. Uh, he's actually no, you eat one. You eat one. Um, uh, you no, know, just you do your thing. I don't want you to lose your forty-seven day streak. No, no. You he's you learning a new language for anyone that's listening. We won't say the language, but he's learning a new language. I think you'll hear it. La- anyway. Language number forty-seven for him. Mashallah. Mashallah. Is it Oromo? Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> it's not Oromo. So, you, so what you're saying is, where does it come from in the earth? No, but sorry, that so doesn't. I want to say something. There was one week. One. You, it's a thing per week. We're eating. Uh, the amount of plastic goes into our body. It's the size of a credit card. All the microplastics that we're consuming at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. I believe that. My point is, right, you're saying it comes from the earth. No. O- That's fine, but it's been changed. You could say oil comes from the earth, but you put oil in the ocean, it's going to kill marine right. life, everything. Yeah, they've just taken it out of the ground where, it's yep. where it should be and yep. p- uh, brought it back to the surface. Now, in 10,000 years, it'll go back there. So will plastic. Bro, we're talking about the here and now. In 10,000 years, we don't even know if we're going to be around. Yeah, okay. Glaciers have melted. The what about, world's flooded. Okay, let's... let's it's too hot at, to live in the earth. Let's look at the earth's history, right? Now, you, you know, everyone knows the ice age, right? The ice age came and it went. Do you and believe went, in the ice age? Yes, it went rapidly, you know? And, and, and it makes sense why the ice age occurred because the, the, the tilt of the earth's axis changed. Now, that makes sense because... I, I can't comment on that because I haven't looked into it. Yeah, like... Uh, does, doesn't it make more sense that the thing that regulates our temperature and our proximity to it, if it changes or, you know, whatever, that will cause some, some you know, drastic change as opposed to uh, 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 air. You know, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're literally saying air is causing us... Uh, you You've know, seen the smog, for example, in India over the cities. Yeah, that's, that's before... That bef- has an impact. No, I don't Wait, think it does. During COVID, look at the research. During COVID... When everything was shut down, bro, all like ha- two all three years, all you had to do in India, bro, the dolphins came back into Venice. Yeah, all you had to do in India, right, is literally go down south. 
And then the pollution was gone. That's right, because there's less traffic, there's less cars, there's less everything. No, they just had trees. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. So humans are causing it because we're cutting down all the I'm not, trees. I'm not, no, no, well, I'm not saying And humans, it's not just because they not, had trees. They I'm have trees because there's less people living in that area. Yeah. So there's a space for trees to grow. So look, my point is not, I'm not saying we're not causing pollution or we're not, I'm saying, you know, that the, the temperature of the okay. earth all right, okay, and global yeah. is not happening because of human beings. You know, that's my, my, my point is that it's, it's uh, the thing, like the thing in the sky, you know, the sun. Or, Controversial, or, or the Earth's axes. What, like, that's, that's but if that was the case... Because it's happened in the past. But if, if that's the case, scientists would have talked about it. But they do. It, it's called the Ice Age. That's literally what happened. No, I'm talking about what's happening now. I think scientists are institutionalized. You know what I mean? And uh, global global warming... Uh, is it a fad? No, nah, it, it supports an agenda. An agenda... What is the agenda? An agenda to basically just create more money. You know, and Find a way to tax people for air. That's that's ultimately you need that's to what explain I that. They they you know uh, what, what was the the carbon tax you know what's that? So now we're going to charge companies. We're going to stay away from people. You know tax. You know taxes. That's how it began. <laughs> the origins of taxes was not imposed on the people originally. It was all it was big corporations. Oh, we're going to you know we're going to tax these corporations so they can pay for your schools and do this and do that. But eventually what happens is these corporations they know how to get out yeah, of it. Taxes were people were taxed as well. No, nah, initially it wasn't though. Bro, what are you, talk look what are you talking about? Look look in look at historically in England no, no, and I'm all not, these places. I'm not talking about What is a cut? It's a form of tax. No, 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 no. I'm not I'm not I'm just talking about like uh say let's just say uh this uh 21st century yeah, okay. when 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 uh, last two yeah like last hundred and fifty yeah. years, hundred and twenty years. I'm using I'm using the American calendar. Yeah. When America okay. became, you know America. America, you know, when Well they, the United States. Yeah, it, it didn't it didn't have tax. Then they introduced tax and when it was when it was introduced, it was introduced not to the people but to companies. And uh, and companies have money, have resources, so they knew how to get out of it. And to offset that, it eventually came onto the people. They they did they, they 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 um with with the climate uh, not the climate uh, what is it uh, the carbon tax it was marketed that way it was marketed that you know you're not going to get taxed we're going to tax the electricity companies we're going to tax these people you know the coal the the, the mining companies yep. but but eventually we all know that that's going to come out of our own pockets but you know alhamdulillah it didn't happen but could you imagine you, you know we need carbon dioxide without it we would all die that's the truth. They li like literally something that yeah, you need you, to survive. But, but, but they vilify you, you don't need something in a greater quantity. That's the whole point of it. 2%. They're not saying we don't need carbon dioxide. What they're saying is we're just too much of it. It's like water. You drink too much I, water, you're going to drown. I don't think it's up to us to control the levels of air and oxygen in in uh, in, in the atmosphere. I don't think it's up to us. I think welcome the, uh, back. I think Allah subhanahu wa taala is going to do what Allah subhanahu wa taala is going to oh, do. That's that's a given. Otherwise, we wouldn't have kids. You know whether. You know, tomorrow, tomorrow there might be an asteroid and destroy us all. You know, and that's you know Allah's plan. And then that's not really any of the books is that an asteroid is going to come and strike Earth. And no, then, and then everybody. maybe there might be a handful of people left, and that's the, you know, Allah Alam. That's when the fun and games start. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're pretty dark there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm yeah. never letting so these regardless, regardless, of the cause, regardless of the cause, regardless of the, obviously it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. Um, but uh, we'll finish off with this, inshallah. Just a request uh, for those who stay till the end um, that, uh, as we know in Pakistan, the extreme yes. version, mm. extreme, extreme version um, of uh, like it's natural disaster. We had the earthquake like, you know, 15, 12 years ago. Um, no more longer than that, uh, 14 years ago. And this current like uh, flood. 33 million people. Yeah. Losing, yeah. Allah. So it's 33 it's million people has been, have been yeah. hit hard. And there's mismanagement and not dams being built. And like Pakistan is considered the worst in terms of wasting its like water resource. Yeah. Because they got glaciers, wow. they, got, they get good well. thing, but. Glaciers just, are disappearing because of global yeah, warming. Yeah, but the, the rainwater is not actually. Utilize properly and uh, whatever, and um, but interestingly enough, that they said that 150 years this this flood occurred. This is the worst flood in 150 years. So 150 years ago, there's no global warming. Yeah. So what are we talking about? Like climate change. 150 years ago. Why would the no, same no, flood no. have occurred then? Yeah, but the flood wasn't as bad. Huh? 
The flood wasn't as bad. You reckon Noah Alayhi Salaam's flood was called by... Uh, oh, no. By, uh, sorry, I'm just... Oh. By that uh, could climate be, change. Look, look maybe, the, maybe that was the asbab Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used. Yeah. Ice yeah, age yeah. ended. And so, the, but it was asbab, right? The cause was the people's amal. Right? right, but anyway, regardless, like uh, it's not a it's not an easy thing because many people that we know and directly family mm. as well they're affected by yeah. this. Um, so I, we're gonna put the link in the description, inshallah. Make it easy. Um, I mean, that I mean. uh, sadaqa.org.au on the front page. We'll put the link there. You it's go very to very way. easy to use. Yeah, exactly. Very easy to donate. Do a what you can according to your uh, ability, inshallah. Um, and uh, it's t- time. I think not just there. And the good in, thing is, we know region. you know all that money goes to those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mashallah, Sadaqa Org. We had the brother um, uh, before um, Josh. Can we had him uh, in Ramadan? He came. He did a podcast with us here. You can go listen to that. We'll put the video up again. You can listen to it. And it gives describes the process and how they go about setting up. So by all means, do listen to that as well if you want to understand more about it. And go to their website. They have got details there. Inshallah ta'ala And hopefully um, It's an opportunity for us Regardless of the cause Like we can say Oh people are doing sins And that's why they're getting punished uh, No we, They're getting tested And we're mm. getting tested also mm. How we and react that, to that And exact, how we help them Exactly mm. So we cannot just Shirk our responsibility So therefore I just request But it's pretty severe Like uh, I saw the videos I was speaking to my cousin Yesterday as well Right so you know, How is your near, family? They're alright Alhamdulillah But he said a few houses Got flooded uh, Where they are Because they're close they're to They're in the, the mountains though Aren't they? Yeah, but they're next to a river, right? So there's a big river that they're next to. So obviously the rains are so much and it's going to continue for a couple of months apparently. Mm. The same so type the, of rain. The monsoon season, yeah. It's not, not, maybe not this level, but yeah. So oh. it's not over yet. Um, but it's pretty bad. And like like some of the things of the politicians, man, like I don't want to go into politics, but uh, like they're the worst. Like they really are like... They're so out of touch. They've got no idea what's yeah, going on. Like some of the statements that come out of their mouth and... Um, but uh, there was a telethon done the other day by Imran Khan and uh, one of the big sheikhs, Monatar Jamil, was on made dua as well and asking Allah's forgiveness. And they did a telethon and also asked Allah's help and that yeah, we weaken. So it was, alhamdulillah, like there's a lot of duas being made and a lot of effort. And I think like $20 million were collected on that tele- what a, telethon. What a test on that country, though. Yeah. One after the other, after the other, yeah. after the other. There's yeah. no break. Yeah. They said there's like if it's in, not there's a hundred war, kilometer inland sea at the moment, which doesn't exist before. Like wow. That's how much water there is. Wow. Like it's a 100 kilometer wide lake. Think like about it's, how it's many it's villages and yeah. people and families. That, that's a sea, 100 yeah, kilometers, yeah. Yeah, inland. So it's just the amount of water. Yeah, hopefully, inshallah. Yeah. It's just when you see the poor, really poor, yeah. like. That, that, is, that's the one that breaks the heart. Yeah, yeah, like you can just see that they just lost everything. Like they didn't have much to start off with, and now they're really like. Yeah. And I saw one lady, or lady, she, uh, one lady, mother, she lost all the kids. And I said, oh. Yeah, Subhanallah. Yeah, it's we don't tough. realize how lucky we are in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got to say that we do not understand yeah. what a nema it is of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that we live in Australia. Mm. And on top of that, Melbourne, we don't actually have we we've got like we get bushfires every now and then, but right, bad yet. ones every year, but yeah. not nearly as crazy as what's happening around the world. Yeah, yeah. Like may Allah protect us, but I mean, time to give back. I mean, inshallah, I call it a night. Midnight actually, 12 Is it really? 12 one. Okay, yeah. thank wow. you for watching. Oh, in one hour for me. Till <laughs> Fajr. <laughs> right, thank you for. Not really. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. See you next week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.